after I kind of uh, mixed the motions, I think today, right? Would you say? Yeah, I would say. I mean, we had some matches there, and we we felt we could could win, and and uh, you know, I think in Sarah's match, I think you know she was in on the legs five, six times. You got to finish. You got to be able to finish those holds. And, uh, I think that was the biggest thing there. And uh, then you look at Allie's match, you know, and gets the first score, but the girl was dangerous, and we knew she had those double overhooks. Never cleared out of it, you know, after that. So, a uh, tough one to lose there. And then Jenna just, you know, I don't know if Jenna wrestled her best in that match. She had some opportunities in the match, but then it kind of snowballed on her when the girl got ahead. You know, and then she wasn't ready for the bent leg turf that the girl did. And, uh, so it kind of got away from her there, I think, a little bit. But but uh, I thought Forrest wrestled well, uh, very strong, you know, tough. She looks confident when, when she's out there. And um, so I thought she wrestled well. And then I think Adeline is just so efficient. Right now, what she does, there's no wasted shots. There's every movement she has is very efficient. You know, so she's looking good. So she's got to keep that going and get punched two in the finals tonight and hopefully get two medals tonight as well. So, What's the key for getting uh, Forrest ready you know, to, to win her first semifinal? I guess um, maybe more on the mental mental side. Well, I think she's pretty confident in her, in her abilities and herself. And I think she's got to just really, stick with what she does and and don't forget who she is you know and i think you know that the magnitude of the event she's been out there already and you know it's a semi-final but it's the same size mat it's that it hasn't changed um so i think just you know be ready for the you know to just handle it emotionally and but just really do what you do What's it like to finally have the Olympic spot qualified? This first one for the United States. Yeah, it's good. You know, we need that's a you know huge thing this year. So to get that that qualified. But you know, now that we got the qualified for Adeline, it's just, let's go, let's move on and get in, punch yourself into the final and give yourself another chance at a world title. I think with Adeline, we all just think, expect, always think she's going to win. But you know, it's not that easy, right? What, what does she have to do? Um, to not go on cruise control and not just, oh, I'm going to show up a win. Well, she knows she's got a formidable opponent tonight with Falcon from Germany. Uh, you know, very s strong attack. She's got a good, strong double and single leg. But, you know, again, Adeline, you just stay what she, uh, what she does. She sticks to her game plan. She's, she's confident in what she does. She's been here before, and she's got the experience. So um, you just really have to stay with her strong attacks. Um, maybe compare and contrast their, those two, Forrest and, and Adeline, their approaches, because Forrest puts on the, the mean mug, the mean face, and, the, and Adeline's not quite like that. But yeah, I think Ad Adeline just focuses on herself and what she can control, and, and uh, does an unbelievable job of preparing herself um, from a technical standpoint, from a you know, physical standpoint, and mentally she's always you know, taking notes and talking to herself in a positive way. I mean, one of the strongest, mentally strongest person I've been, ever been around. So it's, it's neat to see, yeah. you know, very neat to see. And I think Forrest is just, you know, she's just a, she's a fighter. She's a fighter, you know you're going to get 100% uh, effort out of her when she steps out there. And, and a lot of times it's not pretty in these matches. It's just finding a way to win. And I think you saw that in this match here. Could have get, get easily given up a takedown. and continues to scramble and comes up on top, which was the difference in the match. How so many people awesome. have gotten you and Terry confused while you're out here? <laughs> it always, uh, quite a few, but <laughs> it's no different than in the U.S. <laughs> but your, happens there too. your iPhone's got you confused. Yeah, right? our iPhone's even got us confused, that's right. So, not so smartphones. <laughs> awesome, so. I appreciate the time, Troy. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.